we need to pray for her. Amen. But we also need to get her the hell out of here. Amen. Oh, shut up, you fornicator. I did not have sex with the gay and try and blame it on Jesus. Greetings, guests. Welcome to the patriarchy, where we explore cinema classics fueled by predictive Hollywood programming and unpack how our favorite characters in cinema got egg all over their faces. I am your commentator, Dom, and tonight we're unpacking The Religious Mean Girl. Listen, I'm not the one that you have to answer to for your depraved behavior. There's a higher power that will judge you for your indecency. Tom Cruise. Mm -hmm. I hope for your sake that God has a sense of humor. I made a video a few months ago titled Sex, Religion, and Adolescence, the Trope of Polluting Purity, where I briefly touched on the portrayal of young teenage girls in films like Saved and Electric Children, and how for some, especially the young, organized religion can confuse them about the entire concept of sex. So when rewatching Saved, I thought I'd make this video from another angle, and that's the angle of the nice, nasty, religious mean girl. Inspired by Mandy Moore's character Hilary Faye in Saved, and also inspired by Amanda Bynes' character Marianne Bryant in Easy A, and all of those other overzealous, self-righteous, virtue-signaling, ultra-religious fanatics who think they are so much better than and so much closer to God than literally everyone else. We all know someone like this, right? It can be an aunt or someone at school or an elder in church. Mm -hmm. Then she's over there flirting with another man. Come on, she's married. And if you don't think that you know someone like this, you can easily spot this individual with the backhanded comments that they make on how you live your life. You also may know them if they start off sentences like this. As a Christian, I'm doing you a favor. God don't give charity to those who are well and able. You'll thank me one day. Now to be clear, this video is not about criticizing or bashing religion at all. I most definitely do believe in a higher power. But this is a criticism of those who weaponize their religion as a vehicle to place themselves above others, whilst in the process, oftentimes unknowingly showcasing to the extreme their own narcissism. I am filled with Christ's love! And while the focus of this video is about the nice, nasty, overzealous, religious, mean girl as portrayed in film, and while these characters that we're talking about today are fictional, we do know that this stereotype definitely exists in real life. This is art imitating life. Men most definitely use religion too, but it's usually in a more manipulative way that's actually more sinister and omnipotent. Scripture in the Bible is often twisted and used as a means to uphold the patriarchy, and the nice, nasty, overzealous religious women act as a very dangerous agent in this, quite often ending up with egg on their face as a result. Jesus tells us to love everyone. I mean, even the whores and the homosexuals, but it's just so hard. So Easy A is a teen rom-com that came out in 2010 directed by Will Gluck and stars Emma Stone as Olive Pendergast, a high school senior who basically lies about losing her virginity to her best friend. And the film's main protagonist, Amanda Bynes, who plays Marianne, the popular and overly judgmental Christian girl, spreads this false information that she overheard about Olive amongst her classmates and the entire school. So this chain of events causes Olive to lean into the rumor and the new thought reputation that she's garnered by wearing more provocative clothing and branding herself with the letter A as an ode to Hester, the protagonist convicted of adultery from Nathaniel Hawthorne's 1850 novel, The Scarlet Letter. So Marianne, we love a villain, and she was actually one of my favorite characters in the movie because Amanda Bynes just executes this role so well. She's actually a bit of an influencer within her own world before that term even existed. She's pretty, she's quote-unquote nice, has a hot boyfriend and a band of ignorant, loyal followers that empower and embolden her to feel like it's her God-given right to judge and push her overzealous beliefs onto anyone that she feels is not living quote-unquote righteously with the Lord. 
And Marianne tries to accomplish this through shaming. She's constantly throwing shade at Olive, both to her face and behind her back, as a way to try and save her, I guess. Anyways, I think the very ironic starkness between the two is played brilliantly and ultimately highlights that it's actually Olive who has a pure heart and possesses a whole lot more empathy than perfect Christian Marianne. We see this when Olive, albeit a little sarcastically, tries to comfort her sworn enemy when she sees that she's going through a hard time. And Marianne, Christian Marianne, is perplexed by this like, why are you being so nice to me? And of course, seconds later, she's like, it's me. I'm the reason that you're being nice to me. Wait, why are you even being so nice to me? I didn't. I got through to you. They are friends for like two seconds after this, up until Marianne's boyfriend lies on Olive falsely claiming that he gave her or that she gave him an STD when she obviously didn't. The redeeming quality about Marianne is that towards the end of the film, when we see Olive clearing the air, Marianne does seem to have a moment of reflection when hearing Olive's truth, which is much more than I can say for our next character, Hilary Fay from the movie Saved. We need to show her just how cool we Christians can be. Yeah, totally. Come on, let's start laughing. <laughs> now. <laughs> Saved came out in 2004 and is classified as a dark comedy. It was directed by Brian Dannelly and stars Mandy Moore, Jenna Malone, and Macaulay Culkin. So basically, the story is centered around a high school senior named Mary who attends American Eagle Christian High School in Baltimore. Mary lives a pretty normal and sheltered life under her mom who's raising her alone. She's a part of the school band, The Christian Jewels, and is best friends with the band's leader, Hilary Faye. So Mary has this boyfriend who discloses to her that he thinks that he's gay, and Mary tries to save him by sleeping with him. Unfortunately, after this one-time affair, she gets pregnant and successfully hides her pregnancy from most of her friends and family all the way up until their singer prom. Now that we've had a refresher of the plot, let's talk about Hillary Fay. The Christian thing to do? Mm -hmm. I've been doing the Christian thing my entire life. This girl is seriously flawed, not to mention a total hypocrite. She presents as this pure, sweet child of God who has this amazing relationship with Jesus. Yet she is backhandedly mean. She acts like she's nice but makes these nasty comments about her brother's disability. And she has a funny way of acting like he's a burden while also acting like she's some sort of saint for taking care of him. Roland! Do you want to go wait in the van again? Do you know these are new pants? Oh, you're handicapped, but get it together. She's also very clicky. Before her and Mary fell out, she was very dismissive of Tia, who desperately wanted to be in their group. Hey, you guys, I totally squirt some free stuffy. Thank you, Tia. And the biggest sin of all is that she passes judgment on others. She showed disgust when her best friend Mary told her that her boyfriend was gay. And then behind Mary's back, she told everyone about it when Mary asked her not to. And this wasn't just spreading a rumor, she actually made flyers and published them around the entire school so that people could join a prayer circle to quote unquote pray for Mary's gay boyfriend Dean. Then in prayer circle, Hillary Faye indicated that Dean is gay because he hasn't found the right girl yet, insinuating that something was wrong with her best friend, Mary. And worst of all, not only does Hillary Faye judge others, but she also turns her back on her friend. When Mary begins to question her faith after finding out that she's pregnant, Hillary Faye promptly, and I mean within seconds, turns her back on her, then aggressively try to save her via a failed attempted kidnapping and exorcism. Hillary Faye is also a liar who vandalized the entire school and tried to frame it on her estranged friend. And this film also does something similar to Easy A, and that's that it displays the contrast of the quote unquote villain who is Cassandra in this case, the resident Jewish teen at a Christian high school. But Cassandra is a bit wild and somewhat has a dark sense of humor and it's very expressive. She's painted essentially as the anti-Christian. 
but she has much more compassion and shows a lot more empathy than hyper and overzealous super Christian Hillary Faye. And Cassandra, with the help of her boyfriend, who happens to be Hillary's brother, Roland, is actually the only one there for Mary when she finds out that she's pregnant, with absolutely no judgment. Hilary Faye does apologize to her brother, Roland, but the film never shows that she reconciled or reconnected with her best friend. She's not even at Mary's birth. The commonality between Marianne and Hilary Faye is that they both carry this persona that struggles to give grace to others with a heavy demand for people to act just like them. But knowing their true character through their actions, not just the face that they put on, would anyone really want to live in a world amongst people who act just like them? It's God's will! God's will! Christ died for your sins! Okay, wait a second. So are you not going to accept our intervention? With all of their judgment, hypocrisy, and intolerance? I wouldn't. What about you? To conclude, I just want to say that we live in a world with a severe lack of civility. And this is all dished out from those that you'd least expect it from. Let me know your thoughts on what you think about the nice, nasty, religious, mean girl, and share your comments down below. As always, if you've enjoyed the content, please like, share, and subscribe for more. Signing off now, your friend, Dom.